This movie tells a story about Callum as he and his 11-year-old daughter spend time relaxing at a Turkish seaside resort. This movie is basically a meditation on memory. A woman selectively remembering a vacation with her father from 20 years before, sifting for clues about what she might have missed. It's about trying to piece together who your father used to be. This movie is a collection of nice touches, a mixture of short snippets of experience layered between landscape referees, and the effect is melancholy and mysterious. It gives the audience a test by limiting the scope of what we're seeing, keeping things on a near mesmerizing level by not giving us more big emotions, big revelations, or big scenes. In fact, the movie gives us only a couple of glimpses of the grown Sophie. It doesn't become entirely clear that Sophie is remembering events as an adult until near its very end. Its approach to her memory character mystery leans too heavily into obfuscation that may leave many viewers at sea. The movie is unnecessarily obscure and overdoes the whole understated thing. It's probably better for the movie to come to the viewer with a bit more of the adult Sophie letting us see what she's figuring out. As it is, nothing really happens in the movie for a really long time. Nothing of consequence ever occurred. It's a sluggish drama that revolves mostly around both characters' uninteresting exploits, with the aimless atmosphere growing more and more intolerable as time slowly progresses. The arm's length vibe paves the way for a significantly interminable midsection that contains little in the way of character development or actual drama. The movie omits so much and keeps the details incredibly vague. Ambiguity is fine, as following breadcrumbs and piecing together clues left behind by a filmmaker is also interesting. The problem is, the movie is too hazy and blurred. It plays like a memory, but another person's memory is not always interesting. We do get clues that hint at problems yet little in terms of answers. We get small pieces of information, but little glue to hold them together. What the audience can do is mostly guesswork and speculation. For the audience, staying connected to the film proves to be a chore, especially for anyone looking for character development and anything resembling a plot. The movie eventually does offer a few tiny kernels of actual exposition in the thoroughly anticlimactic third act. The audience might be thinking that the movie must be building up to something that would render all the banality poignant in retrospect, so it becomes much more disappointing when the movie pulls a punch at its end to merely suggest tragedy instead of actually showing it. Having said that, the movie has one good aspect, which is the chemistry between the two main leads. Unfortunately, that's not enough for it to be worthy of our time. It's a small-scale premise that's employed to predominantly tedious and underwhelming effect. It feels more like a short film forced to be a feature length. We do not recommend this movie at all.